um, we just left Whangarei like about two hours ago, two and a half hours ago. And we've done about 16 miles, so you can see that we have a hit and the uh, hen and chicken. Choppy, like uh, was going good, but like um, the three last days, three last days, it was from southerly, so now it's like blowing about like three knots. We have left over the sea, so uh, it was quite hard to get out the channel. Yeah, it's uh, uh, Poor Night Islands. Here you can still see the coast, I think, for another hour or two. I'll show you where we are. So we're here, over there. I'm just like uh, trying to clear off Poor Night. I want to pass on. Uh, on uh, Eastern side of Poor Nights, Poor Nights, and uh, then a little bit. We're still heading north, but we're, we're a bit out of course. We need to go like a more westerly, like a north westerly. But I want to wait until we pass uh, a bit of headland, and also it's because the wind's gonna die. Like uh, today is Friday. And the wind is supposed to die on to Sunday, Sunday morning, Monday, and I want to get a bit of uh, uh, clearance of, of the land to catch a better wind because it's gonna be like a, there's a big high passing over now, and um, it's gonna create a big bubbles of no air inside, and I want to get through that as quick as possible and then get to Saudi again. It's uh, possibly going to be another, it's possibly going to be like Monday, Tuesday, 48 hours of monitoring, but I'm trying to get uh, as far as possible of the land to, to reduce the amount of time. There's a little breeze coming from the west southwest, so it's a kind of a beam ridge. Uh, in a minute, I'm gonna hoist the 
faithful as well. was a bit uh, well, I didn't have my sea legs so it was like a bit tough on my body and my mind so and it was kind of uh, strong uh, big leftover swell from the south south west so it was really rolly and not a lot of wind uh, there was some wind until the, um, the afternoon but zooming along like really fast and uh, then the wind kind of died and the boat wasn't really balanced so it was like rolling a lot and everything was flying around so it's a bit a bit hard the uh, first 20 and then we can think about the first the first day I see like, the first night as well like there's like a we crossed the um, shipping line Ships that go down from there, uh, go down to open. Uh, I don't know. I had like a uh, lot of ships popping up on my AIS, and uh, I couldn't see them when I was like on watch. And it was like a uh, the CPA alarm was like playing up, and it was like, like uh, and I couldn't see them. It was a bit hard. I hope, like, uh, as we're getting further away from land, there will be less uh, ship, or at least not that close to me. And, uh, yeah. So, so it's a beautiful day today. The sun is quite warm actually for winter in the southern hemisphere. So here we go. The sun is there. It's a bit, it's a bit cloudy, but. But it's alright. There's no rain because of this high, and uh, that's good. Like we we're, we're doing good with a solar panel because like uh, we've been using a lot of power. Sunrise with like a blue and pink and like a yellow in the clouds. With, uh, the day are getting a bit longer. I notice. Like, um, I could see the first rays of sun at about like um, six thirty something like that. The sun wasn't properly. 
brothers were going to uh, it was still about a flight to the sunrise and yesterday I think the sun properly sets at like about around 6.30 so they are, are getting longer slowly so the station is up it's over there did um I didn't I need to adjust a bit the tension on the radio. But yeah, it's there, full setup. We got like about like a six, eight knots of wind. Like uh, it's like I would say it's yeah, just some puffs actually. And a really flat sea from the the quarter stern or yeah, quarter bin rather. Half a meter or something, and yeah. So we're doing uh, we're doing an extra knot with a stair like a three point three point four, something like that. So yeah, hope it's gonna stay like that. I think it is a doubtless day. So that like quite we didn't cover so much money. I think uh, like, uh, thirty hours we don't have not even like uh, ninety eight miles. Which is ridiculous to know. But what it is. Once you get Today, Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday night, Tuesday evening, rather, it's gonna picking up. Like, it's, like over there, it's like forecast 20 knots. And then on the Wednesday, it's forecast 30 knots. There. And uh, it's gonna be windy Thursday evening. So, uh, Tuesday evening. I don't know what's going on. Like obviously, uh, where I'm gonna be on, where I'm gonna be on, on, on Tuesday evening, it's probably not gonna be the same as over there. It's gonna be like another, probably, hopefully, 300 miles from. 250, 300 miles from there, but I don't know, I don't know what, what, what's going on, what's, what's happening, it's going to be the same over there, if it's like, uh, uh, if I go north I'm going to be safer, I don't know, it, it, but I can't really tell, but it's going to be a, a northwestern wind first, and then the southwest, so it looks like a kind of a low pressure system Like a weather update tomorrow and, and, and 
Monday and probably Tuesday morning as well to see in this area where I'm gonna be if it's okay to see him or place. I did it off the sensor, it's on the sensor. And uh, it uh, has cloud formations. That's why I left the, the main one because I know I doubt the wind's gonna pick up if I can. It's not supposed to. And if so, I can take it up to 20 knots, like 16 to 20 knots with super cool setup, like on the first pole. Picking up that much, I can just put a reef in the space hole and put a reef or double reef in the middle. And, uh, I'm confident enough to do that at night. Uh, as long as I wear my safety partners on, clip on, it should be alright. So if I don't want to use too much diesel, so that's why I put only the engine. I don't. I, I don't like motoring. It's really uncomfortable. It's nice to have like uh, some wind coming up in the cellar. In the cellar. Uh, I'm doing only 2.5 knots, and at this rate, I, I, I can't. Like uh, with this weather coming, I can't uh, keeping up like that. I need to go for the north. I think north of uh, Norfolk Island. I, I can't make it to Norfolk Island in the middle of the day. So I think uh, Norfolk Island and the Coral Sea, north of it, it's like um, it's latitude. It's, it's like mainly at this time of the year, it's mainly south east trade winds. So they can be stronger by a system on, on to New Zealand, especially on to the Whoa. It was a pilot wave, just so fast over there. Like, uh, it's nice to see it. Uh, it was like a about like uh, 100 meters away, so like I could see really the back of the anyway. um, So, yeah, yeah, I need to go north. I think I'm gonna be safe at that. Uh, I don't have many options, like, I could have stopped here. I'm not allowed to do that because I figured out the customs, you're not allowed to. Anchored anyway, or you have to contact them if they have anything to have. It's like a really urgent, necessary, like a messy breakdown on the boat or something like that. So then you have to do that. But otherwise, I think I could have stopped in Norfolk Island, that's an option. Like you're allowed to stop for 48 hours, although it is 200 meters over there. They are not really safe, especially in the game because of the ship. Uh, or the other option would be like to go further north as possible. That's what I'm trying to do. And uh, weather, whatever it is over there. With this weather update, you can maybe it's gonna stay on to New Zealand. Area would be won't be that bad. I don't know. We will see. Found a bit of uh, a little bit of water in the bush today, so I think it is fresh water. So over there, I'm gonna sell like a probably three liters or something. Was coming up from there, and I think I think one of the inspectors had shown to. One of the water tank is leaking and there's no partition in it in the tank. And I 
think because we were rolling for the bit, the water pushed up onto the inspection patch and the water ended up in the bed. So it's quite a lot actually. But it's not, I mean, it's not my drinking water, just like, a, I mean, I can drink this water, but uh, it's not my main drinking water. Because I tend to, for a long passage, I tend to separate the water just in case something like that happens. Uh, I can come up from uh, the connection between both water tank and then the end up with both water tank um, leaking in the bridge. Or I can come from one water tank and you're using one water tank. Or I can come from the, you can have some uh, contamination from the salt water also with the uh, the pillar onto the deck if it's leaking and then you end up with, uh, with salt water in your tank and you can't drink it anymore. So this water, you just use it for the dishes and to like uh, do some ablutions every day, wash my tea, this kind of thing. Of course I can drink it if I run out of fresh water, but I've got uh, something else for the fresh water. So this things here. It's my day-to-day -day drinking water, so I fed it up when I drink tea. And I use the grated, the grated jug over there to, to filter the water before I put it up into this jug. And over here, I've got another, another uh, one, two, three, four, 40 liters of fresh water. Capriang a few hours, like an hour ago, something like that, maybe two hours ago. The Capriang is over there. It's still like the South Maria Ridge with the Three Kings, Three Kings Islands there. 
and uh, so yeah, we almost we almost out of New Zealand water, pretty much. As you can see this quite a lot of uh, like a long way to go. We didn't cover that much. Check it out and put it in the notebook, but I think we've done uh, 45 knots per mile the last five hours. So it's not bad, but it's not, I mean, we can do better than that. It's been uh, very calm since this morning, uh, uh, 4 o'clock this morning. It was like a bit sketchy because we had like a strong wind and the wind everything in. Me. And uh, then as we approached the um, northern part of the North Island, there's like a, um, I think it's a nice fishing ground over there. There's a quite a lot of traffic and fishing boats all along. Uh, I guess because it's like a, it's like a uh, underwater volcano, like it's weak, so, so it must be good for fishing. Right? Sailing along, suddenly it began. But it was it was to be expected. It was in the weather forecast when I left. It was said like a, uh, Sunday, no wind, and I think Monday too. So. Yeah, and it's like a dead flat. It's like a long running southeasterly swell. But actually, it's like a, since this morning, it's like a dying out, like a, the sea is flat, flattening. And uh, yes, no sight of land at all. So it's a sea breeze coming from uh, well, pretty much where we're going. So you can see on the wind decks. But it's not even sailable, it's just enough to keep the sails uh, from frogging. And yeah, hope. Hope it's gonna pick up soon. It's good because uh, it keeps the cabin cool, but the, the humming of the engine and everything is vibrating. It's not, it's not really nice for the liver. like something like a 800 nautical miles to go long-running like south 
South South East tour. And yeah, it's really really flat, really comfortable. Uh, uh, last night it was like really nice to be able, to, except the engine was running. But it was quite, quite nice, really comfortable, and I think I, I, uh, I quite um, catch up on sleep and, and I needed it. So, uh, so as you can see, full sails up. We are on the close hold. The wind is slowly picking up from the north over there. And uh, so that's why I really, we are really, really close to the wind. I'm waiting for to pick up slowly because it's like just I say three knots and just like um, puffs, puffs of, uh, of uh, light breeze. And it's supposed to pick up uh, later this afternoon and more into the night, like uh, before past, like 11 knots. And the uh, wind will we, back a bit. So I'm hoping to, that's why I'm on this course for now. But I'm waiting for the wind to pick up and then we're gonna attack. And from the, from the port attack. And uh, then it's supposed to back again, so it's gonna be like a northwest, then west, and then southwest. So there's a bit of a blog coming up. Like, uh, it's supposed to be, uh, I'm gonna show you the weather updates uh, in a minute. But, uh, that's why I'm on this course right now because like, I'm, I'm hoping to get a bit of mileage right now and then pack and we we'll see after that and getting ready for the blow because the wind is, the sea is supposed to blow quite a bit from the south waste so it's going to be on the quarter, quarter spin. Cut something like five meters. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how, how we get to that. But for now, it's uh, quite comfortable. Really sunny. No, it's not quite warm yet, but uh, sunny. Uh, yesterday, I made some pasta. Very nice pasta with uh, cheese, and uh, I had some uh, fresh leaves, and uh, carrots, and uh, like heaps of fruits. Tuesday, the 1st of August, and uh, it's a beautiful Sunday today, again, it's a big high because the barometer is uh, uh, really high, like it's about like uh, 1020, between 10, 1023 and 1025, so it's super high. I think uh, we're selling into a big high uh, uh, pressure system right now. Um, we picked up a bit of wind this morning, not a lot, like about like a, I would say like a, a three to five knots of wind, but it's coming from the west, and that's good because the, at least we can get on the way. Like it was like north northwest yesterday, and I had to motor. I put like a reef in the main and just motor through the light sea breeze and it was like a bit choppy and so I had to lift uh, the reef main up just to stabilize the boat. So we are here. So we are sailing between Norfolk and uh, Three Kings Ridge. I was a bit worried, but like um, they forecast uh, strong wind, strong uh, uh, west, uh, west northwest, and uh, I was a bit worried of being caught onto this strong wind uh, onto the Three King Ridge. So it's like a, it's like a, um, we are on a, on a fireboat, so it's like New Zealand, Vanuatu, New Caledonia. It's for the fireboats, so it's like um, uh, um, uh, underwater volcanoes. So, for example, right here is like 2,000 meters deep, 
and the three kings reach uh, at some point is like only 300 uh, meters deep so I guess if you get caught in a westerly wind on top of the, the ridge might be like really really bad like uh, really really bad because the, um, they create some, some uh, underwater currents and like the, the sea build up even if you don't have like a, like a with a, I mean, you can, I think it's not a good idea to sail on, on, onto that. So right now we we're sailing on the course. It's north northwest. It's not really fast. Like it's between two and three knots because five knots of wind, so, and and it's really like fickle, like uh, just parts of. The uh, we passed two ships, like a passenger ships yesterday. It was like a uh, really cool to to see it. I can spot it with a binocular. It was a really big, uh, really big boat. And another one this morning uh, when I was on watch, and uh, I couldn't see it. Like it was like 20 miles away, something like that. It's called like a T is something uh, Chinese name. I think it was a fishing boat doing like 18 knots and uh, I just picked it up, picked it up but I, I couldn't see it. I, I tried with binocular and like uh, the visibility is only 14 nautical miles so it was just like I couldn't spot it really. So the water tank is still leaking really badly. I'm gonna empty the bridge in a minute uh, and uh, again and uh, and uh, dry out the can because uh, it's leaking everywhere. Like I, pu I pull a bit of um, there's a drain on on each like uh, these beams over there for the boat, and uh, there's a drain in it. And so if the water spread there, it goes like everywhere. So. so the wind is coming from the west, and I think. Uh, it's gonna pick. It's supposed to pick up today, and as you can see, like there's like um, uh, clouds on the south, cloud on the east, cloud on the northeast, clouds on the north, and over there it's like cloudless. And I think there's like there's some wind there. It's like uh, coming slowly. It's supposed to fill up um, today and getting a bit stronger the forecast like uh, 18 to 20 knots uh, west and then it's gonna back up like over there like uh, west south west and then uh, south west and then south and then uh, south for a few days and then south east so the wind's gonna go anti-clockwise which is good because uh, I'm in good speed and good bearing as well uh, we've got the full sails off, like a uh, stail sail, uh, jib, and main sail full. Could have put the spinnakers, like uh, drop the head sails and put the spinnakers on. But it's like a lot of work, and if it's supposed to pick up today, it like doesn't really worth it. Like, uh, I would rather have got a pole for the spinnaker, it's a symmetrical spinnaker, and. Uh, I would rather put it on when it's like uh, behind the beam, like uh, it's way more efficient and easier to handle. And you can like, uh, with the wind picked up, you can use the main to deflate it, and it's 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 way easier than on the beam ridge. Even if it's doable to to, to use the spinnaker, like a symmetrical spinnaker, than a symmetrical spinnaker, and use it. Um, as soon as you're reaching pretty much like as soon as the wind is like coming from the beam um what else yeah pretty calm night i slept really well i think i get used now to like the tw 20 to 30 minutes nap and which is good uh, i'm not feeling tired at all and, uh, the i guess it's because we're sailing northwest like the the um, sun is rising a bit earlier than it used to be when i was in new zealand 
so that's good, like a, a bad like 630, we, we got some um, the first lights like of the sunrise and uh, yeah it's, re it's really nice there's a full moon as well like uh, yesterday was monday it was a full moon it was really beautiful like uh, it rose uh, in the evening like uh, still in daylight and at night it was like really really beautiful like a big um, yellow orangey moon like a huge moon it was like really really beautiful can see it today but uh, i guess tonight we're gonna have a nice one too like because the uh, the sky is pretty clear and, uh, i think we're gonna spot it i'm gonna try to film it I i'm not sure if you can catch it with the gopro but i'm gonna try it apart from that not so much like uh, just uh, the huge like uh, live on board is pretty pretty easy and comfortable and hope the wind's gonna pick up soon like a little bit like a few knots uh, like uh, they forecast eight eight knots today and it would be nice if we can get that so we can make a good speed and getting on our way because we made we made a slow progress like uh, it's about daily run is between 80 and 90 nautical miles which is not a lot but we're getting uh, we're getting to to our destination so it's not too bad i don't mind spending um, an extra time at sea if at least we're making progress and uh, i'm glad we turned out the engine i used up like half of the tank now uh, half There's no more diesel bugs in the uh, filter, so it was like probably left over from last time. And I can still smell the, um, the biocide in the diesel, so I think there's biocide in it. Like, uh, we'll see. Maybe um, before making our way to the, um, the entrance of the uh, New Caledonia lagoon, I would like probably clean the filters and uh, top up the, the tanks so we should the engine would to start and yeah, not dying on us so it would be a bit of a mess if so and, uh, a bit shortly like I would say like a 0 0.5 meters swell I think it's gonna pick up as well as the wind would but at least it's, uh, I, I'm glad the swell's coming from the waist because uh, from the wind it's gonna pick it up from the waist as well. And, uh, with the full sail ops, it's like, uh, yeah, see, like, uh, life at sea. Now I'm gonna tidy up inside, empty the bird. Okay, like there's a bit of dust in the cockpit as well. So I've got water, the, the wind picked up, at least I don't have to do that when it's like a rocking and stuff. And just just relax really, like uh, maybe listen some podcast and cook and yeah. It's a beautiful day. Have to enjoy it. I'm gonna try with the the mastic. That this water tank was leaking and it comes from the inspection hatch. And the other one too, but uh, for some reason it doesn't seem to lose as much as water. So I'm gonna try to seal it up and see if uh, it stops the water in the pouch. That's the plan. And the wind has picked up a bit, so we we're doing between two and Two and four knots really depends of how now it's two knots. We were doing 3.5, 3.5, which is good. Getting there. Uh, the inspection hatch on the both water tanks are still. Uh, I just 
just clean up the, the belt, so I can put the water in the belt. Just wanted to show you something. As you can see on the can, I marked on the top of each can the content of it. And the reason for that is like in case you got a leak, like I had in, in the bilge, the label of the can just de de integrated, disintegrated. So uh, unless you want to gamble like every uh, uh, every dish you make, like uh, when you open the, the can, okay, it's better to mark it on the top. And also, it makes it easier. So you can just have a like a short glance of the, when you pop up the the hatch, and not having to lift up every can to to know what it is. So. I think it's an important thing to do when you, you prepare your boat for, for a passage whatsoever. Having uh, uh, eggs and cabbage uh, and onion sa salad for lunch. I just dropped the, the tube because uh, I don't like to go on the bus field at night okay. when it's windy and it's forecast to be picking up tonight and as soon as I flashed it up on the, on the push pit like the wind completely died so we totally become but it's a, it's a beautiful sunset right now like beating uh, on, uh, on a close hole I guess like, uh, no. yeah close hole the, the wind is coming like a uh, west northwest right now uh, but Supposed to be southwest, but it's not southwest. It's like due west, the uh, the swells. 
And it's supposed to be right now like 1.8 meters. I think that's pretty much what, what that is. So Paro did an amazing job. I had to do a bit of the engine on to keep on the front plug because we were going anywhere like uh, pretty much last night. And uh, now the wind backed a bit so I, I turned the engine off and just to stay like that until it's calmed down. I think that's the best best way we can do it right now. This is uh Yesterday when the wind picked up, I put a, a reef in the main. We're, we're, we're pretty good, we're not overpowered right now, even if it's gusting, like a, gusting quite a bit. States. I'm not too worried about the wind. The wind is not too strong. I've been in strong, way stronger wind, but it's more like the sea states, like uh, this kind of, of uh, beating. It's not good for the rigging. It's not good for the boat. Like uh, I can hear the boat like uh, creaking and like uh, as the hull is like uh, um, moving. Like, uh, I'm not feeling seasick, I'm feeling really tired because I can't sleep uh, in, in this kind of conditions. Like everything is flying over. Oh, look at the, we're heading over quite a lot. It's like pounding into the waves. I hope it's gonna be. At least we're making, we, 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 we're going on the right way. I would say like we're doing a great progress, but we're, we're, we're moving, we're moving towards our destination. The system we were selling uh, when we left uh, New Zealand is um, really, really high. Like, uh, the barometer indicates like 10 to 15, and the other things are that high. Like, really impressive. And it turned into let's say, like a big storm, between the storm and the gap. Like, uh, we had like a wind gusting.
to Denver and I was really tired actually since uh, I didn't sleep I still slept that last night but the night before I couldn't sleep because the weather was too bad and I needed a rest and a work too so we are actually there, we got plenty of food Like uh, two knots, two and a half knots. Because we have a uh, two knots to It's been ten hours. We do, we be having two. As you can see here, our stack. So that's that's the purpose of. So uh, we started heaving to there and we made like uh, about 20, 25 nautical miles. That's how we drift. 30, 33, 31. Still no focus on there. Zealand there, New Caledon. It's uh, Friday the 4th of August today and we are back on our way uh, heading north, north east. So the sun that Three meters, three meters north. And we're running with it, and, uh, giving us like an extra, an extra speed. Actually, we're flying around, but it's about the average speed I would say like around uh, 4.5, 3 to 5 knots. Uh, we are over there. Okay, just about like. Uh, South east of uh, Norfolk Island, still. Like we yeah, haven't made a lot of progress yet because we've been here too since this marker there and just drifting around. Done like a bit like a probably 40 miles uh, west, and now we're heading north northwest towards New Caledonia. And uh, there's like another. I think that's about like 500 
and something 520 nautical miles of course in a straight line something we're gonna do it would be nice to do it but i'm not sure what we're gonna do it so 500 should be if we keep a, a nice speed like that it would be another another five to six days We, we've been averaging about like uh, 85, 90 nautical miles every day, which is not really good. Hoping that uh, tomorrow and the following day is going to be like that. The forecast is um, it's going to be southeast like it is right now. The sea is going to ease a bit like uh, later this evening, like about like easing from. Uh, 3.5 to 2.8 which is not a, a I mean, yeah, it's gonna make a difference and, uh, and then the wind is gonna shift more southeast like, uh, like uh, at the moment it's south southeast it's gonna shift southeast and uh, it's blowing 18 knots right now and it's gonna be like a uh, Monday, Tuesday, like it's gonna stay like that, like uh, all the weekend and Monday, Tuesday, it's gonna be like 15 knots from the south east and then east south east. Uh, but we will see it's like too far away to, to, to see. I'm, I'm getting, I'm um, updating the weather every every day or so just to make sure because every location it's different, and, you know. How it is. It's not really accurate, it's a uh, long time ahead, every 24 hours would be better. So uh, yeah, keep you up today. Um, uh, today is Saturday, the 9th of August, 2023. Uh, many things happened today, so uh, after all, we, we made a good progress since yesterday. Fork is there. We we had like no fork a beam about like 2 a.m. this morning. So now we are on our way. Uh, as you can see, it's really rough out there. Like there's like the leftover from the bro the blow of the day, and it's still like a it's still like a um, uh, gusting to, to like in the twenties, like a, like south. South, yeah, east, south, uh, east, uh, sorry, east, south, east. That's, that's uh, wind direction. So, uh, it's like a really good Not as high as it, it was before, like it's like 2.4 meters. That's what I said in the forecast, and I, I, I believe it. Um, so, it's easing like slowly, but uh, that's still really rough. And uh, because it comes from, the, we got a, a swap from from the stern, which is good, pushing us uh, nicely. And another one from the from the quarter here, as you can see, so I'm kind of rolling quite a lot. But, uh, here we go. It's a bit annoying, but uh, it's like hard to sleep and hard to do stuff. Like uh, you have to. Watch out for the swells, and as otherwise you can spit water or coffee or whatever you're doing. Like, uh, it's a bit annoying. Uh, I've got a bit of an issue with my, my battery. Like it's not charging. I mean, yeah, uh, it's running really low, and that's because we're using the instrument and, and especially the autopilot. And uh, as you can see, the sky is overcast, so we're not charging much. I had to run the engine, like a, made like a, a bit of, like a lapse of 20 minutes with the engine, just to top up the battery yesterday, like especially during the night. Uh, running a bit this morning as well. So 
bit annoying having to run the engine, but uh, and we're doing good speed. Like I'm not even running the engine to go forward, just to top of the battery because I'm worried about I can. If you run the battery too low, it can like get uh, damaged, and then you have to to replace, and there's nothing else you can do. And I want to avoid that as much as possible. So I thought about like uh, rigging the wind vane. I tried to do that and uh, something happened. Uh, the powder in the water is stuck, like really stuck. I tried with a rubber on and tried to put it as hard as I could. I couldn't get it in place. So, and the sea is too rough to try anything else. Wait. It's a bit of a shame because I could like see the original rest go with the wind bank and have a bit of power. The sea is supposed like uh, according to the forecast, the sea is supposed to ease tomorrow and it's gonna still like be blowing like a, a nice 15 knots. But like uh, the sea state was is like a meter, which is will be cool. Uh, yeah, I'll see if I can, I can do something about that tomorrow. Hi everybody. So this is this is a Sunday. from uh, the uh, the entrance of Numea so it should be there at this rate we should be there in like, uh, three days so we are Sunday today it should be like a, a Wednesday or Thursday morning something like that so it's quite a little bit to this morning it's a big swell from the southeast facing North Salon not so much of wind, like maybe like uh, 14, 15 knots, which is not a lot. And yeah, so we're making good speed. So, yeah, four, four knots. I make the. I haven't baked it. Uh, I'm baking the second bread of the trip. Really accurate. We are like 200 nautical miles from uh, southeast of Numea, and uh, so we're gonna go that way because it's like kind of reefs here, yeah? and there's uh, many. Um, if you zoom in, you can see like there's like an army uh, firing area like for trainings, army things and stuff and I don't really want to get caught in there so we're gonna do like a slight detour west and then north it's not a big deal we got the following sea anyway so we're making like a good speed as you can see like over there making like a five knot average I would say you know that because like a 10.50, yeah, something like that, like 4.8, 4.7, something like that. Um, so I put like a dot there, like actually it's a fish. So we're gonna go there to avoid that, the, the ridge over there, because it goes from 2,000 meters to 120. 
So it might be like a really gnarly if you get caught in there. There's the second one there. We're gonna miss it. And so I'm hoping to get there tomorrow morning. Hoping early in the morning. Uh, like around like maybe four or five o'clock in the morning. And then from there, we've got... Ooh, it's rocking. We've got another hundred... Oops, sorry. 116 nautical miles to go and that's the entrance of the the pass over there yep. yeah it's really like it's a big swell this morning so. I spilled two coffee before putting one in the cup yeah. 150 so uh, then we're gonna do like a straight north course kind of things to miss all the area like uh, military area all the things there's a bit of reefs it's like um uh what they call f a f a d it's like uh, something for the fish like to have grind the fish or i don't know there's some floats over there with some nest and you, you don't want to get caught in there so yeah, that's the plan. Another, another 48 hours, and we should be entering the the Dumbia Pass. Okay, let's see how it goes. This morning, so this morning is the 12th day at sea. It's a Tuesday. Ooh, that's a big one. And uh, we are about we heading towards the Grand Terre. Uh, New Caledonia and uh, Numea is about like 100 nautical miles ahead, so straight ahead. And uh, like a nice downwind, downwind sail, we got both heads off. The big uh, swells from uh, the south. And, uh, nice sunrise. So, yeah, we should be there like I'm um, hoping in the late morning. So this. Uh, tomorrow afternoon we can clear the customs and, and all those things like the admins so they're good, good to go and uh, having a nice uh, rest and, and so on like this year. So, yeah looking forward to see the, um, the uh, Numea, uh, Numea Koro entrance, Numea Pass and I'm looking for, forward to for that gonna be super cool. I know it's like a uh, well season so maybe we're gonna see some world. Yeah, we'll see. yeah I'm gonna keep you updated all the ongoing uh, the beautiful sailing condition today. The wind is about like at twelve knots something like that like a, a breeze kind of breeze. Still sunny days. It's dead on the then I'm done with the back though, the dead down with so what I've done is like I uh, put the jib and uh, stay so like that. Could pull a pole on the bit because it tends to loft a little bit. I could put the pole on maybe to stop that. So we're doing between uh, between three and five knots. And we've got hundreds space to anchor over there and it's like a coral and I want to see anyway and it's also a bit if you don't know how it's a bit dangerous to enter at night so I don't know like uh, I would like to get there when it's daylight so I can like uh, uh, get my way through and not having to wait like uh, with no way to anchor but I think we're gonna make it like uh, it's quite good but if we, if we do like uh, 100 miles would be like a 24 hour time, so it would be pretty much the same time tomorrow. It's uh, exciting. Land four, my friend, land four. You can see the mountain down, in the mountain behind the clouds. We are in New Caledonia. Right? 
The yellow tie for the quarantine and the Nicaragua tie. Hey, guys.